Hi guys, this is Karthik. Welcome back to my channel. And guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do subscribe to the channel. It really motivates me to make more content. Okay. And today I'll be discussing a nice coding interview problem, which was recently asked at, let's say my my friend's college. And it was asked at a really nice tech company, which hires in India and offers a really, really good CTC cash in hand and cost to company is really high. Okay. For obvious reasons, I will not be sharing the name of the company. And for obvious reasons, I'll be saying that I've altered the question, which I may or may not have. Okay. So that's up to you for deciding and let's get started with the problem. The thing is that it's not important that it was asked in a interview. It's important that the problem is nice and really good for learning dynamic programming. So guys, you can read the problem statement on your own. You can pause the video, read it. If, if, if the quality is low on your uh, mobile device currently, then you can also read it in the description. I will add a link to this uh, problem statement. So guys, let's get started. The problem is that we want to find out the number of arrays that I can make consisting of n elements. So array size should be equal to n. We are given what is n in input n can be up to 10 power 6. All the elements of this list uh, should be between low and high. So we will be given three integers n low and high and all the elements of my array must be between this range from low to high. I want to form, I want to find out the number of arrays that I can form such that all the elements of the array are between low and high and there are exactly n elements in the array. Moreover, the sum of all the elements has to be even. So I want to find out the num count of the arrays, the number of arrays which follow all these three conditions. I want to find the answer and return it modulo 10 part 9 plus 7 because it's going to be a huge number of arrays. Let's uh, see the sample cases. I'll be explaining the first sample. The second sample I will not be able to explain because there are a lot of arrays and you also won't like the video to be one hour long. And still watch me fail not being able to produce all these 50 outputs. Okay, so let's get started. You can see the constraints here. We would like to hopefully get a big of n solution. So the statement says that for n equal to 3, <clears throat> low equals 1 and high equal to 2. We have exactly 4 such arrays. Let's try to build them. So I'll be generating them in a brute force manner. First array I generate is a 1 comma 1 comma 1. This is incorrect. I'll backtrack. 1 comma 1 comma 1 was incorrect because sum was equal to 3 which is odd. So I don't need to count it. Now one, I will backtrack and try a two here. This is all right. Sum equals to four, count one. All right. Now I have reached the highest number here. I cannot have anything larger than here. I'll backtrack. Let's try a two here and a one here. This is also good because sum equals to four, which is even. I'll try the other two here. This is not good because sum equals to five. So backtrack. <clears throat> of course, I cannot write any larger number here also. So backtrack again. This is correct because sum equals to four, which is even. This is not good because sum equals to five. Again, not good. And this is good. So we get a total of four arrays and that is the output. So we have validated the actual question and through validating we have also come up with a brute force. Let's simply try out all the valid all the possible arrays of size n which have all the elements between low and high and then I will check whether the array is valid or not through a backtracking algorithm and we will be done finding the count of arrays just the way I did here. Okay, This was nothing but backtracking. And we can simply implement it through recursion, try out all the possible values at a particular spot, recur for the remaining. Once you've filled all the n elements, check what the sum is. If it is even, then you have found one valid way of uh, one valid array. Otherwise, the array you just filled was invalid and backtrack. And what will be the compl time complexity for this brute force? So at a point, I could keep exactly high minus 
low num uh, for a particular position i will have exactly all the numbers from low to high and the count of numbers between low to high is high minus low plus 1 this can be nearly 10 power 6 let's say in the worst case it is 10 power 6 and since there are n positions so for every position there are this many options so it's 10 power 6 whole to the power n and n again is up to 10 power 6 so you can realize how bad this algorithm is or how inefficient it is although very simple to understand now let's move at a better more efficient solution i would really recommend you guys to pause it try to maybe come up with an n squared solution if possible or something better than this something better than the brute force okay so let's get started i'll uh, erase this now okay so i'll be looking at these n empty positions for me to fill these are n places that i want to fill i want my sum to be even okay my overall sum here should be even now what i can do is at the first position i could fill a number either low low plus one low plus two or so on till any number till high let's say i choose to fill low here okay or let's say i choose to fill some integer x that is between low and high and let's say that x equals x is odd x is either odd I want to fill all the positions starting from 1 till n such that my overall sum is even. And I fill x at the first position. x can either be odd or even. So if x is odd, if x is odd, what would I li uh, like this sum to be? First of all, odd plus odd is even. And odd plus even is even. Uh, odd plus even is uh, odd okay i wanted my overall sum to be even x is odd so what should be the sum of these elements obviously it should be odd otherwise uh, only then will i have odd plus odd and overall i will have a even sum so if placed element x is odd i would like to find the number of ways in which i could fill this array from 2 to n or an array of size n minus 1 this particular region such that my sum is odd i would like to find this particular thing ways number of arrays in uh, to uh, number of ways in which i could fill these positions from 2 till n so that the overall sum is odd how about x is even if x is even then obviously i still want this region to be even the sum of all these elements should be even because even plus even will be even and therefore I want all these elements to sum up to something that is even. So I want to find out the number of ways in which I could fill these positions from 2 to n so that my overall sum is even. So with this thing discussed, we, we already can come up with a faster solution than before by defining some dp. So let me define dp of i comma 0 the number of ways in, I, in which I could fill all the elements from the ith till the nth element okay so that my sum is even okay let me say that this is my dp state and let me also define dp of i comma 1 the number of ways in, I, in which I could fill my elements from the i till the nth so that my sum is odd one represents that my sum of all the filled positions is odd okay so if you go or got it you can skip this part ways to fill positions from i to n such that sum is even and here sum is odd <clears throat> let's build up the transitions now so at the ith position i could fill any element right some integer x and x will be from the range low to high so i will put an integer here if it is odd 
let's try to build up dp i0 if i put a odd integer here then i would want the remaining list to also be odd because i want overall to be even so if i put some odd integer here i would like to find the number of ways in which i could fill the remaining positions so that the sum of the remaining positions is even or odd right because odd plus odd is going to be even and therefore since i put a odd integer here so i want even uh, this particular sum also to be odd so that odd plus odd becomes even then i'll try another element if that's all even then i will have okay what are the number of ways in which i could fill the positions from i plus 1 till n so that the sum here is even given that x is even okay so the idea is that you iterate through all these values from low to high and try them all out here and for if you fill a odd number here then you see what are the number of arrays so that the sum from i plus 1 till the nth position is odd if you filled an odd here otherwise if you filled an even here check the number of arrays uh, ways to fulfill these positions so that the sum of these elements filled from here till here equals to even right but again what will be the time complexity for this since i'll be trying out all the numbers from low to high at the ith position so there will be a transition time of big o of uh, let me just say that this is n in the worst case nearly equal to big o n or 10 power 6 so i can say that it will be big o of n times for every position i'll be trying out n different or 10 to the power 6 different tries so it was going to be 10 power 12 nearly 10 power 12 operations if i do it this way because of the uh, high transition time here but if you observe one thing one more good thing is there which will help us efficiently uh, make this more efficient if you observe this pattern clearly the transition pattern the pattern is that first of all you are going to try the number low then you will try low plus 1 then you will try low plus 2 so if low is odd then low plus 1 will be even and low plus 2 will again be odd so what the point here is that there will be nearly there will be nearly half of the numbers will be odd and the other numbers uh, from let's say uh, let me just define the total numbers the total integers i have to try is high minus low plus 1 right these are the total integers that i have to fill a position and if the number of odd numbers in these numbers is uh, let me call it odd numbers o n odd only is better okay so if the number of integers which are odd in this particular region is odd and i am going to call it x <laughs> yeah and if the number of integer then the number of even integers will be total nums minus x number of even integers and it is quite easy to find this out and the thing is that if you fill a odd number it does not matter which odd number did you fill the number of ways will still be dp of i plus 1 comma 1 right because your transition for all of them is going to stay the same you're going to use the same answer again and again so it's going to be the thing is that you're going to have this particular item dp of i plus 1 comma 1 x times and you're going to have dp of i plus 1 comma 0 e times okay the point here is this and now i'm going to write the recurrence if the thing is still not clear to you it will definitely be clear after that what are the number of ways in which i could fill the positions from i till the nth position given that my sum of all those integers is even if i fill an odd number at the ith position there are x ways in which i could fill an odd integer at the ith position in all those ways i would like to find out what are what are the number of ways in which i could fill all the positions from i plus 1 till the end so that the sum of these integers is odd right i wanted my sum from i to n to be even and 
since I filled an odd number at the ith position, I would want my sum to be odd from i plus 1 to n. So there are x ways in which I could fill an odd integer here. In all those x ways, I am finding out the number of ways in which I could fill the array from the i plus 1th position till the nth position so that the sum of those numbers is odd. So by definition, number of ways to fill the positions from i plus 1 till the nth position so that the sum of sum is odd is dp of i plus 1 comma 1. Similarly, if I fill an even number here, then in all those uh, times, I would like to find out what is the number of ways in which I could fill the positions from i plus 1 till n so that the sum of those integers is even because even plus even gives me even. So that is going to be y into dp of i plus 1 comma 0. So that's it. This is your recurrence. I'll quickly write dp of i comma 1 also. Although I recommend that you try it on your own. If I fill an odd number, I want to find out even possibilities. So I'll have dp of i plus 1 comma even. Plus if I fill an even number at this position, I'm assuming there are y even numbers and x odd numbers. x plus y is going to be high minus low plus 1. All right. So if I fill a deep, uh, yeah, if I filled an odd, that's cool. If I fill an even number here, I wanted my overall sum to be odd. So it's going to be even plus something that is odd. So even plus odd is odd. So it's going to be dp of i plus 1 comma 1. And guys, that's it. These are your recurrences. Your final answer, any guesses? You want to fill all the positions from 1 to n. So dp of 1. And you want the sum to be even. So dp of 1 comma 0. This is your final answer. All right any base case or somewhere maybe if i'm going top down somewhere to stop the recurrent uh, recursion uh, let me just define a base case what are the number of ways in which i could fill the positions from n to n so that the sum is even that is the number of odd integers i have oh sorry the number of even integers i have because i want the sum to be even so assuming that there are y even integers so dp of n comma 0 ways to fill the uh, fill only an array of size 1 so that the overall sum is even is exactly the even numbers you can fill any of the even numbers and dp of n comma 1 could be x the number of ways in which i could fill one sized array so that my overall sum of all the elements of that array is odd and since there are x odd numbers i could fill any of those numbers at the nth position and therefore dp of n comma 1 is x so guys i hope this was helpful to you although i didn't want to uh, wanted to show any code but uh, you can have a glance as, at this this is somewhat uh, you can implement it this is just a pseudo code but i would recommend that you guys implement it in a bottom up manner and that will be better okay hopefully the explanation was uh, sufficient for that and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comments if you like the content, make sure that you like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.